So we're currently going through a consultation on the new public health bill. Now, the consultation in itself isn't unique. Uh, most governments, most departments will consult on any piece of primary legislation that they bring forward. And it's good and proper that they do so. Uh, but there is a shock uh, to the system of Northern Ireland's population here over the last three weeks. And I'm glad to see it because I have been warning uh, the people since this, pub, this consultation was released on the 5th of July. Uh, I have been warning the people that the, the draconian powers that we were all subjected to over COVID, the department would make them permanent and they have done damage to our people. Uh, and I was heavily criticised at the start because people were scared, people were frightened, and they were looking to me as if to say, what are you doing? You're messing about with our health. And I'm saying, because these people are messing about with our democracy. And that's the biggest safeguard you have. People think that democracy is there to give people power, but democracy is actually there so that when we give people power, that ultimately we have a democratic, accountable system that can curb that power. And that's what the Assembly is all about. But for you to be able, as a minister, to make law without having to come to the Assembly, it's a first. And so I was concerned from the very word, from the very start, with regards to this. And I now realise, and I've realised a long time, that the deployment of fear is what they used to comply and to compel people, uh, to com uh, compel people to comply with these draconian measures. If you would have asked me ten years ago that this would have happened and we would have lived through this, I would have, I would have said no. There's no way that people would fall for this. But you can see with the deployment of fear how, how real that was and how that came about. And so I do not think that any department, that any one person or any unelected official should have the power ever again that they had during COVID because our public health has been destroyed in many ways. We have access deaths going through the roof. We have over a thousand in Northern Ireland in any given calendar year since the pandemic. And we also had a measure in Northern Ireland called the Vaccine Certification Scheme, which coerced people to take a vaccine. And I don't care how good a medicine is, you should never be compelled to take a medicine that could cause adverse reactions and side effects. And so there are many people who I deal with on a weekly basis who have been injured by the vaccine uh, and who cannot get a clear pathway to care, who are being no ignored by government because it's an inconvenient truth to tell them that they have coerced these people into damage because they were coerced to take a medicine that gave them side effects. And so most politicians in Northern, Northern Ireland turn their face away. So I am really concerned about this uh, proposed bill. And I'm now glad that the vast, uh, well, not the vast majority, that, 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 that an enormous amount of people are now contacting their MLAs and are, ex and are energized about this public consultation. Because the damage is the damage could be done. It is real. It is there. And if our voices aren't heard, the Department of Health will try and take these powers that they enjoyed over COVID and make them permanent.